another model of transformers is known as the ideal transformer. And as is the case in any ideal elements, there's some approximations that are made to make calculations easier, but in the process, we ignore some of the realities associated with the, uh, the actual physical implementation of a transformer. So an ideal transformer has as its symbol the two um, inductors, and then they typically will draw just a couple of parallel lines in there to symbolize that they are... Um, that is meant to be an ideal transformer. Now, the, the approximations that we use, or that we apply to the linear transformer to come up with the ideal transformer model is that we assume perfect coupling, that the coefficient of coupling, k, is equal to 1, which then makes m, the mutual inductance between the two, equal to just the square root of L1 times L2. This perfect coupling is, uh, is accomplished by either wrapping both coils around a common core type material of um, ferromagnetic material so that the approximation is that all of the flux, all the magnetic field generated by this coil is transferred through this ferromagnetic material and is coupled by the other winding. And similarly, the current or the magnetic field that's created by this coil is transferred through the ferromagnetic coil on over to this um, winding. Another way of accomplishing or approaching this perfect coupling is to have both the primary and the secondary coils wrapped around the same core. The second approximation is that there are no parasitic losses. There are no heat losses due to the magnetic current flowing through the core material. In other words, there's no losses and that the power in into the primary side of the transformer will equal the power out of the secondary side. And finally, the, uh, the, or the final approximation is that the materials that, com or that comprise the core or the material around which each of the coils is wrapped is the same material so that the, um, the permeance P is the same for both of the coils. As we'll see in the next few videos, these approximations greatly simplify the calculations and the analysis associated with or analyzing of circuits where the uh, transformer's model is ideal. We're going to find that the relationships between the voltage and current of the uh, primary and the secondary coils then become dependent only upon what is known as the turns ratio or N1, the ratio of N1, which is the number of turns in the primary, and N2, the number of turns in the secondary.